Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen the uh, programmatically inserting of the component in the Angular. We have seen right using the component resolve factory. So we have seen, and also we have seen how to pass the properties and also how to listen the events also through programmatically. We have seen. Now we will move on to the another concept that is modules. So what is a modules? So for example, if you see here the project. If you see this project, so our, our project is having only one module that is nothing but what we can say is app module. This is the main entry module for our Angular project. If you see here, if you observe here, so this is just a small project only. So just a small project only. But if you are able to see, you are having lots of imports here and you are having lots of declarations, imports, providers, you are having lots of things. So when you are going to big project or anything, so you will be able to have lots of uh, uh, component declarations and all those things in this app module. So before continuing to this one, let's look at this each module, what it will be doing, which thing module. So this is ng module. Okay. So what is this ng module is? So whatever the module you are having. So in a class, if you mention that one, that one will become a module. Okay. So the module will have one thing. What is declarations? In this declarations, what we will be mentioning? You'll be mentioning the components. What are the components you're using in the project? You'll be mentioning all the components and the directives. And the other one is the custom pipes. Okay, so here we have mentioned the uh, components. Here we have mentioned the directives, and also we have mentioned the our custom pipes also. So these are the things what you'll be mentioning in the declarations. Okay, and here this one is the imports. So imports is nothing but whatever the modules you're having. So modules means whichever the classes mentioned with the ng module so these all things should be should be coming under imports and here is the providers what are all the services comes here declaring in the providers so providers is a separate uh, separate another concept not concept so another way of defining this one so you can mention here in the service or also you can mention directly in the service pro uh, directly writing like provided in root like that we mentioned so we have already mentioned here in our services if you see you see some of the services i think auth service we have already mentioned i think if you go top you'll be able to see that provided in root so that means if you mention this provided in root automatically the, it is nothing but mentioning in the app module okay so this is the and also you'll be having bootstrap bootstrap is nothing but what we can see is what is the component we need to load first Okay, so app component is the thing which is loading first. So app component, so this is the component defaultly loaded. So you will be having one root component, app component. In that app component, you will be having all the components. You need to remember this one. So you can have multiple roots also. That one will become a little bit of complex and all these things. So for Angular project, you'll be having one root component, and in that root component, you will be having all the components. Okay, so you will be uh, these are the main things what you'll be having in this module. Okay, now if you see here. This is these are all the components you are mentioning here. So this is the actually module. And if you go the routing concept and all those things, so routing concept also comes under this app module only. If you see, this is another module we have. Actually, we have two modules. One is app module and app routing module. App routing module, everything again we are defining it here and everything. So whatever the routes that are present in this project, in this Angular project, we have mentioned here in the route thing. And here what we have did. We have we have written again ng module and we have imported the router module and we have exported this router module so as this one is a module we need to mention it in the import section so we have mentioned in the import section here okay so we have mentioned in the here app routing module section okay so we have mentioned the routing module now so in the same scenario so why we have divided this routing module because of this one so we, if you want we can mention all the routes in this app module because of this complexity problem so the code is becoming massive and all those things so because of that reason we have splitted the code so routing we have splitted into separate file and we have app module and we somehow linked this uh, routing module into this app module in the same scenario we can also divide the project into different different modules so why we will be defining uh, dividing this one into different different modules means first one is code splitting okay so 
code splitting means so complexity so linear code you will be writing a linear code so you will be having big big uh, chunks of files so you are having 300 400 lines of code so you will be not having like that so splitting the code into equal equal file e e into different different files so that you will be having different different files so if you got any problem or anything you can pinpoint to that file and you can find out the problem very easily and another one is the performance issue so performance in order to increase the performance we will be using the modules concept so performance thing we will see in the later videos and because of this one we will be dividing the project into modules models so what we can think of this one here so you can think that what are the modules we are having the first one is the authenticate okay we can think that this authenticate everything is one module the logging logout and everything comes under the authenticate thing so you need you can divide everything like this one two three four five six so you, you can have like this authenticate now you can have home users thing so users and here getting these all the details so it is moving to home page you will see what is the problem so these all the users is one module categories is one module posts is one module so posts and all those things is one module so let's concentrate on the users first okay so we what we will try to do is we will try to convert this into a separate module and we and we will make a separate module user module for this one and somehow we need to link up this user module into the app module okay now here what are the things necessary for this user module if you go to the app routing module or anything you will be able to see here you will be having users and you are having children's that users component user component and edit user component okay these are the files which are these are the files which are responsible for the what i can say uh, these are the files which are responsible for the user component so we need to split this code into a separate module and we will be writing in a separate module this one so in the next video what we will try to do is we will uh, this is nothing but what we will be calling it one as a feature module so this is one feature users and all the things is one feature so we will be dividing that everything into one module and we will be naming it as a feature feature this we will be calling it as feature module in the next video what we will try to do is we will try to divide this code the user's code into a separate module and we will link up into the app module okay so we will see it in the next video if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you